So if you're ready, take a seat. Remember that you can crisscross your legs, like crisscross applesauce if you want to. Or if that's too hard for you, just stretch out your legs in front of you. All right? We're gonna sit up really tall through the spine and bring our hands into the heart. And then close your eyes with me today. And as you close your eyes, take a few deep breaths in and out of your nose. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. Continue to take deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Feel the breath. and feel this moment in your body. As we're closing our eyes, I want you to think about sending healing out to everybody on the planet. We have to do our part to think positive thoughts, and think of healing and sending healing energy out to everyone on the planet. So I want you to think of what healing might look like. Would it be a white light? Or maybe it would be a green light? Or sparkles? What do you think healing would look like? And whatever it is, whatever it looks like, we're gonna inhale our hands up over our head. And then we're gonna exhale them open and visualize we're sending healing out into the world, out everywhere into the world. We're gonna gather some more up. So bring your hands into your heart and inhale it up over the head, reaching. And then send out that healing into the world. Send it out. Hands back to your heart, inhaling, reaching up, and sending healing out into the world. Bring your hands into your heart. Now, how about if we think of bringing healing into ourselves? So maybe some of us need to boost our immune system or feel a little bit better. Maybe we're feeling a little down lately. So let's bring some healing into us, whether it's for our body or our mind. Inhale your arms out and reach up. Imagine that you're reaching up and grabbing some of that healing and bringing it in for yourself. Lots of healing. Inhale your hands up towards the sky, reach, and bring your hands in, bringing in healing. Let's do that again, inhaling up, reaching, and bringing down some healing. Beautiful. We'll take our hands to the ground. Hi, Kali. And how about if we do some side stretches and open our body a little bit? So let's take just one of your hands up towards the sky and bend over to the other side, reaching out. And then I want you to take deep breaths here. Breathing through your nose. And feeling that nice big stretch in your side. Maybe you want to circle this arm because maybe your shoulder's been tight lately. So you just circle that arm up and around nice and slow. Beautiful. I love it. And maybe take it the other way for your, you guys circling that arm. Take it around in the other direction. Nice and slow. Beautiful. Good. And we're going to reach all the way up, bringing that hand all the way down. <laughs> Golly. Let's do our other side. So bring your opposite arm up. 
and start bending over to the side, reaching out. And again, we can just stay here, taking deep breaths. Feeling that stretch in your side. And there comes Bodhi. <laughs> or if you want to, you can circle your arm all the way around. Get lots of movement into your shoulder. Feels so good to move our body. I hope that you remember to do this every day. Let's go the other way, nice and slow, circling out the arm. And then we're gonna lift it all back up again. Bring that hand down towards the ground and shake your legs out in front of you. Shake them out, wiggle them from side to side, wiggle your feet, wake up your legs. And we're going to go into our cobbler pose next. So the feet are going to touch. We're going to sit up nice and tall. And how about if we do a few butterflies where we lift the knees and drop the knees. Remember these little butterflies waking up our hips and our legs. Maybe you want to flip them a little faster. Maybe your butterfly likes to travel fast. <laughs> Okay, and then slow it down. We're gonna take a lift with an inhale and then fold forward, bringing your head down on the exhale. And take some deep breaths. Feel that nice big stretch in your back, in your hips. Nice big stretch in your body. You guys look great, well, those of you that I can see anyway. Make sure this always feels good. Remember, yoga should never hurt. But you do wanna feel like sometimes you're working or stretching. All right, slowly lift up out of that. And you can pick up one of your legs and then just rock it a little bit from side to side. I like to hold the knee and the foot and just rock the hip a little bit from side to side. Wake it up a little bit more. And then if you remember for animal stretch, you're gonna take that leg behind you, okay? And then try to have the foot of the other leg in front, okay? So you don't want the foot underneath your knee, put it in front. And then we're gonna turn over the leg, lift up, and we're gonna walk out into animal stretch where we bring ourselves all the way down and drop our head to the floor. Now remember, you can stack your hands. You can put your head on your hands. I want everybody to take deep breaths. I'm just gonna look up and see what you're doing. But I want you to stay down here and breathe. Good, yep, and it's okay to close your eyes and take deep breaths and feel this nice stretch in your body. Nice stretch in your body. Take a couple more breaths in and out. And then we're gonna walk up slowly, lifting our body. <laughs> Go ahead and take the leg that you tucked around out in front of you, okay? And you're gonna put the other foot at the inner thigh and we're gonna go into half forward fold. Now, if you guys have been sitting around a lot, this is gonna be tight. So you're gonna wanna take a nice big stretch and reach your arms up and then fold forward over that leg and reach for your foot or your ankle and then drop your head. So this is called head to knee pose. So you want to try to get your head towards your knee. We call it half forward fold. 
but other people in yoga sometimes call it head to knee. All right, so deep breathing, bring your head towards your knee. And when you're ready to come up, we're gonna reach up with our arms to the sky and take them slowly down. Good. <laughs> now let's bring our feet back to cobbler where the feet were touching. Do some butterflies again. Loosen up your hips. Oh, good, I see Becky there too. Hi, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take a nice deep breath, everybody. Lift up and then crease forward, slowly folding down. Bring your head all the way down, folding forward. Sometimes I like to repeat certain poses so we get a bigger stretch. So, Good, take a couple more deep breaths in and out. One more in breath, one more out breath. And slowly come up. Now you have to remember which leg we did the last time, picking up your opposite leg and rocking it out from side to side. Just to open it up a little bit. Wake it up. And when you're ready, we're gonna swing this leg behind you. All right, put the other foot against the knee. And frame that knee, turning in the opposite direction. Lift up tall, beautiful. And then we're gonna walk out and bring our head down towards the floor, holding in. Once you're there, just take deep breaths in and out. Feel this big stretch. Close your eyes. Relax. All right, let's come up carefully on the in-breath. And we're gonna stretch the leg out in front of us. Bring your foot into your inner thigh, flex your foot and sit up tall. So this leg now, this one might be real tight. So let's take a deep breath and reach all the way up. And then creasing forward, reaching over your leg, grab your ankle or your foot. Close your eyes, folding in. And I want everybody taking deep breaths in and out. Let me look at what you're doing. Keep breathing. I'm gonna see everybody. Awesome. Wonderful. Keep breathing deeply. Breathing in and out. Great. So when you're ready, we're gonna come up with a big deep breath, reach up, and then send the arms all the way down. We're gonna shake out both legs again. And this is our full forward fold. So flex your feet. Lifting your arms, take a nice deep breath, reach up towards the sky, and then fold over your legs as you exhale, bringing your head down. And we're gonna close the eyes and breathe. Take deep breaths here. Beautiful. And feel that big stretch in your body. Breathing in and out.
And when you're ready, let's take that breath up again. Reach to the sky. Hands come down. And so now we're going to come up into table pose. We're going to lift to our hands and our knees. Kali's going to have to move. <laughs> so come up with me onto your hands and your knees. And make sure you're in table pose. Looks like a little coffee table. Your arms are straight. Your knees and legs are straight. And let's do our cat rolls. As you inhale, look up. And when you exhale, tuck your head and tailbone down. So when you inhale, you're looking up. And when you exhale, you're tucking under, dropping your head. I'm gonna do these a few more times. So look up and down, nice and slow. And the next time you look up, we're gonna open the knees Bring the toes together and come into child's pose. So sit back and bring your head all the way down to the floor. Heads all the way down on the floor. Child's pose. Good. All right, everybody, come back up onto your hands and your knees. And we're gonna take one of your legs. You can take maybe your right leg back. And then you're gonna send your right leg over to the side, putting it on the floor. And we're gonna do some more cat rolls. So look up on the inhale. And as you exhale, tuck your head and your tailbone under. And do a few more of these, looking up and down. So we're rolling our spine. Getting some movement in. And let's look up and take this leg back in. And we'll step the other leg out. So bring it back and then over to the side. And begin your cat rolls where you look up on the inhale and tuck the head and tailbone under. Lifting on the inhale and tucking under on the exhale. Nice and slow, everybody. Deep breathing through your nose. And when you're ready, we're gonna bring that leg back in. And now we're gonna do the downward dog. So I want you to push your hands down and lift your hips all the way up towards the sky. We're gonna drop your head. Push your hands into the mat. Really lift your hips up high. If you get tired, come down to table pose. All right, guys, lower that back down. Take child's pose, sitting back, bringing your forehead down towards the floor. And I want you to enjoy that child's pose because we're gonna do another downward dog tonight. I think everybody needs to work a little bit. So when you're ready, come back up, tuck your toes, lift your hips all the way up and push up into downward dog. And make sure your head is down, hanging. Take another breath, push up, up, up. 
and gently lower back down. And now this time we're gonna come down onto our forearms. So do you remember Sphinx Pose? If you come down onto your stomach, I'm gonna see your legs are straight back behind you and your forearms are on the floor. And instead of kind of sinking, I want you to push into the floor and lift your chest. And we're gonna turn our head and look over one shoulder. And then turn it to the other side. Look over the shoulder. And as you're doing this, to be nice and gentle, don't rush. Just side to side, nice and slow. Little bit of energy in your body. And how about if we come back and do our crocodile, where we bring our arms across the mat and we lay down, bring our head down. Now remember, crocodile is a resting pose, so rest your body for a moment. We're gonna work in a minute. I'm gonna work a little harder. So give yourself a chance to rest. We have to weave in the resting with the working. All right, guys, when you come up, stretch your arms in front of you. And remember, we're going to do opposite arm and leg raises. So what I want you to do is lift your left leg and your right arm up. Opposite arm and leg, lift off the mat. Make sure you're on your tummy. Take a few deep breaths. And then lower that side down and do the other side. So you're going to lift your opposite arm and legs up. Yep, I see a couple of you doing it. Good. Deep breathing. And then we're going to lower it and do both arms and legs. So this one's harder. On your breath, lift your arms and legs off the floor like you're flying. Try to take deep breaths while we're doing this. Don't hold your breath. Lift higher. And then come down into your crocodile again. Send your head down and relax. So always take a couple breaths in crocodile. And then bring your hands under your shoulders. And we're gonna go into a cobra pose for a minute. We don't usually do cobra, but let's see if you wanna lift up your body like a snake. Good, some of you really got that one. Take a couple breaths in cobra. If you don't like cobra, come back down onto the forearms. Yeah, very nice. Okay, guys, so we're gonna lift our hips up and take child's pose again. Open your knees and stretch out. Bring your head down towards the floor. It's okay to stretch down. Close your eyes. You look good. So what we wanna do in our yoga practice is we wanna be able to work a little bit and then rest a little bit. We don't wanna work Work, 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 work. We have to work a little, rest a little. It has to be some balance. All right, when you're ready, join me in a seated pose. So now I like to sit in hero. This is where the feet are tucked behind. But if your knees don't like that, then swing your legs in front. So you can sit in crisscross applesauce if you want, okay? And let's roll our shoulders a few times. We're gonna bring them down and back. Down and back, rolling the shoulders. Beautiful. And then we're gonna take a deep breath and open our arms, getting ready for a big, big hug. So take one arm under the other, 
pull your shoulders forward, give yourself a lot of love, maybe even a rock, and take some deep breaths, feel that beautiful stretch. And feel the love. Because when you're doing yoga, you're doing something really good for yourself, so you should feel that love. Now the arms are going to open up again, and this time you're going to take them around and see if you can clasp them behind your back. Right? If you can't, then you're just going to hold your back, but you're going to pull your shoulders back and look up towards the sky, opening your chest. Okay, so deep breathing in and out. Opening your heart. Breathing through your nose. I'm gonna take another breath and then we're gonna bring those arms around again. And I want you to wrap the opposite arm. So whatever arm you didn't do, put the other arm up, pull in, Give yourself another big hug. Maybe just rock, feel that love. Right? Stay with it. Yep, you got it. Good. And then you can release those arms again. And we're gonna swing our legs around in front. Coming back to a seated pose. Now, in the beginning, when we were sitting, you probably had one foot in front that you always put. Switch and do the opposite side. So now the other foot's in front, just for balance. We're gonna send some more healing into the world. So bring your hands into your heart. Inhale, think about what healing looks like, sparkles or sunshine or rainbows, and send it out into the world. Bring your hands into your heart, inhale it back up, sending out more healing into the world. And one more time, inhaling it up, sending out that healing light into the world. And we have to visualize, we have to imagine that it actually is going out there to everybody who needs healing. Stretch out your legs again with me. Shake them out. <laughs> and hi, Bodhi. We're going to pick up your right foot or left foot. You cross over whatever foot you want. You're going to bring it onto the other leg. And this is our figure four. So you can stay right here. I know some of you are, you feel tight. Your hands come behind the back. And maybe this is all you want to do tonight, which is fine. And some of you are more flexible, so you're going to put the foot on the floor and scoot in <laughs> a little closer, coming into whatever you want. So again, if this doesn't work, the seated pigeon, just send that leg out. It's nice to sometimes close our eyes here and just focus on our breathing. Relax your eyes. I think, and especially if you've been on your phones or computers a lot lately, or television, maybe you want to close your eyes a little bit more whenever you can and relax your eyes and your vision. So if you don't need, if you can listen to me and hear and follow along, just keep your eyes closed. All right, send that leg out in front of you and cross the other leg over. So now we were right here. So you're just gonna pick the foot up and cross it over. And we're gonna go into our spinal twist. So take your opposite arm and wrap it around your leg and bring the other arm around and twist and look over your shoulder. So your gaze is over your shoulder back. Beautiful, yep. Yeah? Turning around, deep breathing. You're going to pull the leg into your tummy so you're getting a nice big squeeze in your abdomen. And I hope that maybe you're going to eat after class because if you just ate, it might not feel good to pull the leg in. 
Take another couple breaths. Remember, look over your shoulder and breathe. And release the pose and stretch this leg out, right? So now you're gonna bring the other foot across on top for figure four, the hands behind the back, sitting up tall. Now you can stay right here. Some of you, again, if your flexibility is there, put the foot on the floor and scoot in. Find that breath. Take deep breaths through your nose. As you breathe in and you breathe out. Feel the breath. Close your eyes, relax your vision. Take a couple more deep breaths in and out. And we're gonna stretch the leg back out and do our spinal twist. So pick up your leg and cross it over. Opposite arm is gonna wrap around the leg and you're twisting now to the other side, looking over your shoulder. Okay, so taking deep breaths through your nose. Feel the breath in your body. Breathe deeply. Breathe in and out. Yeah. And when you release the pose and stretch out the legs, wake them up again. So we're gonna go into our straddle next, if you remember. The legs are gonna come out to the sides. Hi, Kali. <laughs> and you're gonna stretch your legs out nice and wide. Sitting up tall. We're gonna do a couple of more side stretches here. So take one of your arms up towards the sky and fold over towards the other side. If you wanna move your arm again in circles, you still can do that. Remember, you don't have to, so you could hold. Maybe you don't want to do it this time. Take a couple more breaths. And then we're going to lift up slowly. Bring that hand down. We'll do our other side. Take the arm all the way up and bending to the opposite side. And remember, you have the choice if you want to circle your arm. Maybe you need to do a lot of that right now, just to open. Deep breathing, feel the side stretch too. You can circle, it's up to you. And we're gonna lift our body and we're gonna go into an optional forward fold. So we're gonna to try to bend from our hips. Now, if you're really tight, maybe you're just gonna sit up or you're gonna take your hands forward and walk out and bring your head down. So some of you will go into a deep bend. Maybe some of you won't go that far. Whatever you wanna do, take deep breaths through your nose. And then we're gonna walk back up and lift our body. And so guys, we're gonna come down onto the back next. So this is gonna be tricky today on the computer, <laughs> but I want you to come down onto your back and bring your knees to your chest and maybe rock from side to side. So can you guys lie down? 
Give yourself permission to lie down. Hug your knees into your chest. Let me see what you're doing. Yeah, lie down, perfect. You got it. Okay. So we're gonna do bridge pose. Place your feet on the floor and walk them up towards your butt. And bring your hands down on the floor. So this is another really good pose. We're gonna lift the hips off the floor and try to get the arms under the body. And keep your hips lifted. Look up and push up. If it gets too hard, bring your feet, just bring it back down. Otherwise, push the hips one more breath. And then you can release it back down. And maybe windshield wiper your knees from side to side, nice and slow. Letting go of your back. Now let's raise our legs to the sky. This is our inversion. And I'm gonna show you if you have a pillow, like I have a pillow here from the couch. So if you want to, you can put a pillow under your butt. Sometimes I fold the pillow and get my hips high, and then you can raise your legs with the pillow, which is nice as well. And the arms can be out, over the head, under the head, whatever you, wherever you want your arms. And let your legs come up towards the sky. That's it. Yep, deep breathing, everybody. Hold those legs up. It's nice to maybe wiggle your finger, your toes a little bit, or point and flex your toes, or circle your ankles. And another thing you can try if you want is to open your legs out like another straddle. Bring your legs apart. Or keep the legs back up, whatever you wanna do. We're gonna be here for another couple of moments. Breathe deeply. You're doing great. And then we're gonna take those legs all the way down, nice and slow. So if you used a pillow like me, you have to pull that out. And then stretch out, giving your whole body a big stretch, full body stretch. Reaching through your arms and your legs. And then we're gonna lie in final relaxation. So bring your arms next to you and relax and close your eyes. So everybody lie down and close your eyes. As you're closing your eyes, I'm gonna walk you through a little guided relaxation like we always do. All right, so close your eyes and relax your body. As I guide you through the relaxation, let go of each part of your body. So first you're gonna start by relaxing your right foot. Relax your right foot. Relax your left foot. Left foot relaxes. Relax your right leg, your whole right leg relaxed. Relax your whole left leg. So both legs and both feet are relaxed. Relax your hips. Relax your belly. Relax your 
Relax your whole back. Your whole back's relaxing. Relax your chest. Relax your neck and your throat. And relax both of your shoulders. Now relax your right arm. Relax your right hand. Relax your left arm and your left hand. So both arms, both hands relaxed. The body is relaxed, the legs are relaxed. Relax the muscles of your face. Relax your eyes. Relax the whole head. <coughs> Relax your whole body. Feel your whole body relaxing. And we're going to start just to slowly wiggle our fingers and toes again. Or slowly stretch your body. Take a big full body stretch. You can bend your knees and roll to the right. Roll onto your right side. And then come up to seated when you're ready. Don't rush. Come up when you're ready. Come here. And so <laughs> we're going to bring our hands back into our heart and close our eyes as we finish our practice tonight. When you close your eyes, think of all the healing, all the healing in the world healing energy, loving energy. We're gonna send out more healing into the world to anybody who needs healing. Take a deep breath and reach that up. Think about what that healing looks like. Rainbows, sparkles, sunshine, send it out. Visualize it going into the world, imagine that Whoever needs healing is receiving it. And we'll do it the opposite way one last time. So you're gonna reach out, come up, grab onto some of that healing and bring it back into you. And as we close our eyes and we bow our head and we finish our practice tonight, I want you to feel strong, feel healthy, and feel safe and loved. That's the truth. You're healthy, you're safe, and you're loved. Thank you for joining me tonight. It has been my pleasure to teach you yoga tonight. Namaste.